Top five breast augmentation mistakes be sure to avoid. Number five, choosing saline implants over cohesive silicone gel. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference, and if a patient prefers, I will certainly use saline implants, but in the vast majority of my patients, I use silicone cohesive gel implants, which have a more natural feel and are less likely to ripple compared to saline. Number four, letting the surgeon decide what implant to use. I've seen many patients who come to me for a revision and they describe not really knowing what implant they were going to have going into the operating room. Basically, the surgeon decided what they felt the best implant would be to fit their frame. Ultimately, it really needs to be a joint discussion between the patient and the surgeon to figure out what is going to be the best implant to meet your goals and also be the safest and fit your frame, work with your tissues. Personally, I use implant sizers and 3D imaging together to come up with a plan for what implant we're going to use before we ever get to the operating room. Number three, choosing the implant based on someone else's results. Whether it be a friend of yours or someone you saw online, there's so much variability between how much breast tissue you're starting with, the laxity of your tissues, how wide your chest is, same implant on two different patients can look completely different, so it really needs to be tailored to your body. Number two, getting an implant only when you really need a lift. Many patients want to avoid the additional scars associated with a mastopexy, but that can often lead to the implant sitting low on the chest, feeling heavy, and not really achieving the goals that you're after. Ultimately, the scars fade really well over time, and it's extremely rare that someone regrets having it done. Number one, not choosing a board certified plastic surgeon. There are many surgeons out there who call themselves cosmetic surgeons and they do breast augmentations, but you definitely want to choose a plastic surgeon who is certified by the American Board of Plastic Surgery. It may seem like a simple procedure, but there are many nuances that I didn't even appreciate after I finished my initial plastic surgery training until I did an additional year in an aesthetic fellowship and I really understood what the differences are that make a good result versus a great result. You definitely want to check those credentials. 